Okay, there are big things happening in Louisville's West End, and the latest development came over the weekend as the Louisville Urban League cut the ribbon on the Humana Outdoor Track and Field at the new Sports and Learning Center. The center opened back in February, and this is the last significant development in this project, but it's not just for athletes attending track meets. You at home are invited to utilize the complex from sunup to sundown seven days a week. Joining us now via StreamYard to tell us more about this development is Sandra Moran. Hey there, Sandra, how are you? Hello, I'm good, how are you? Uh, we're so excited about all the great work and, and the, the exciting news that you guys are in the final stage of your opening. Uh, first of all, tell us about the inaugural meet that's gonna happen soon. So it's, it's actually today. We have our first meet at the outdoor track and uh, it's tonight starting at 5 p.m. The community are welcome to attend if you want to. Um, there are tickets available if you go to our website, NortonSLC.com, you can get more information. But this is a track meet that's open to all ages and we have quite a, quite a few athletes that are registered to attend from all over the Louisville region, um, some Indiana, some Lexington schools. So we're very excited. Uh, it's kind of the end of the regular track season, the beginning of the summer season. So. We are working to book some additional outdoor track meets as well. This is so exciting. And, and what does it have to offer as far as for the public and then as for events? I know there's a lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. So for the outdoor portion of the facility, the public can go anytime from sunup to sundown, like you mentioned, and it, it is open to anyone. There is no charge to attend. There is no parking fee or anything to use the facility on a daily basis. Now, if we have the facility booked for a track meet or practice or something, then the community will not be allowed to to come during those types of events. Um, and we are going we are working on getting some signage posted where you can uh, scan a QR code and it will tell you exactly when it's booked. Right now you can just check out our website. We have we have that listed on there. So, um, but it's a great, it's a great opportunity to get out and walk, get some exercise and it has been used, although we just cut the ribbon on it Friday, it has been used quite a bit from the community. They come and they have picnic lunches, they walk, they run, and we can just see that increasing every day. More and more people are out using it, which is which is wonderful for the community. Sandra, I'm and, curious. Um, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no you go no, ahead. You finish. You go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this is just part of a bigger complex. The Louisville Urban League Sports and Learning Complex also houses the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center, which is the indoor track portion, which is which is an amazing facility. We hosted 13 track meets there this winter, and um, it, it ha also has bowling lanes and a rock climbing wall. It has meeting spaces. So it's going to be great for, you know, corporate team building activities for the local community, for birthday parties, for all sorts of things. And, and that is not just open to the public, but, but you can rent the space for events. Eventually we'll have it open for more community use, but for now it's, it's available to rent for, for events, birthday parties, anything that you want. And it's, it's a wonderful facility. And I feel like this, there's something for everybody here at the complex, but Sandra, it has to make you just feel so, so proud that when you look back over kind of the journey uh, from, you know, groundbreaking till now, this has been such a huge community outpouring of support. It just has to make you feel so great that, you know, here we are and the community did this. Right, absolutely. You know, Sadiqua Reynolds with the Louisville Urban League and, and all of the staff there, she she had this vision and I've heard her tell her story many times and I just love hearing how the vision came to life and it happened very quickly and a lot of community support. There were individual donors, there were a lot of corporate support, you know, Humana and Norton Healthcare being the biggest two supporters of the facility, but a lot of individuals stepped up and they purchased seats in the, inside the venue to help make this a reality because it was completely an effort of love and giving and donations. And I think that, you know, not only is the local community going to benefit from it, but the track community has embraced it very well. It is one of only eight facilities in the entire nation like this with the indoor track with the banked hydraulic system. It is the fastest track in the world. It is also created by the, per the same company that makes the Olympic tracks that are used. So, um, a lot of people are coming in from all over the country to attend these events. We had people represented from, from California to New York, from 16 other countries came and competed in, in the facility this winter. So it's gonna be great for driving tourism and driving dollars to the community as well as them using it. So we are excited and 
And yes, the vision that the Urban League had and what they have done is phenomenal to, to make, bring this to life. This is so exciting. I know me and Claudia need to get like matching yeah. track suits and come and check <laughs> yeah. it out one day. But Sandra, thank you so much for talking with us today. All right, thank you. And the inaugural track meet will be held this evening at the Humana Outdoor Track and Field. You can find out more information about that and other events at NortonSLC.com. And you can keep up with the track and everything at Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center on social media. Just search at Norton SLC.